there's a literal parade outside. I'm gonna go try to sleep again. What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another vlog and kind of a surprise for you guys. I did not tell you about this uh, this little adventure that I'm on right now, but uh, as you can see, I am currently in a hotel room here in the uh, the place that I'm at. So gonna be here for about two weeks. Um, lots of cool videos planned, lots of cool ideas, but I'll flip you around and show you guys where I'm at. Uh, you guys can take a couple guesses in the comments. You might have already seen if you follow me on Instagram. I posted a couple pictures, but here we go. This is where I am. I don't know if you guys can really tell where it is, but uh, this is my view from my little balcony. There's some sort of like music truck going on right there. I don't know how to pretend know what that is. If you couldn't tell from that little clip, I am here in Japan. Uh, I will be here for two weeks. I'm in Yakuska, but we're gonna go up to Tokyo, Yokohama. Um, probably do another video in the caves. I was here like about a year ago, eight months ago. Um, there is, excuse me, there is some videos on my channel from that, so if you guys wanna go check them out, I'll throw the links up in the description, little suggested videos. Um, also got this new lens, super zoomed out. My old lens used to be pretty much like this, so this one obviously way more zoomed out, super cool, super heavy though. My arm is already tired from just holding it. Uh, so let's go walk around Yakuska. No real plans for this video, but uh, just show you guys around where I am staying. I figured I'd show you this real quick too. This is the view from the other side of the hotel. So there's actually, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a cemetery right there. Uh, I'll throw the telephoto lens on to get some video of that. Uh, we're not allowed to go there, obviously, but still super cool. So this is Yokosuka, Japan. Definitely some awesome content to come from here. Okay, so I went and grabbed my telephoto lens real quick because I just wanted to show you guys that cemetery. Super cool. First up, I actually have to run to 7-Eleven to get some cash out. Uh, I'm going to be buying my brother-in-law, or Kelsey's brother, a bottle of Habu Sake. That is uh, sake that has a snake in it. Uh, I know it's not exactly the, the nicest thing, but it's a really cool Japanese item um, that he really wants. So I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven, take out some cash right now, and then go pick that up for him. I'll show it to you guys once I get it. Just picked up Kyle, his bottle. Uh, it is in here right now, but I'm gonna head up to the hotel room real quick. Um, so I can show it to you guys, number one, but I also wanna leave it here because I'm gonna be walking around. We might go out on a boat later. Um, and I obviously don't want to mess the bottle up, so going to go set it upstairs, but I'll show you guys it once I get up there. Super cool. Alright guys, yeah, just wanted to show you this real quick before we head back out. Uh, so obviously it came in the little bag. And then it's got this cool box. I don't know, it's kind of got like a snake on it or whatever. Pretty cool. Please don't like crucify me in the comments for, you know, there's a snake in it. No different than eating chicken or beef. I get it, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's still really cool and something that not a lot of people will have. So, I think it's cool. I've drinking it before. I've bought a bottle of it for myself before. So that's what the front of the bottle looks like. Again, just a picture of a snake. A bunch of words in Japanese that I don't read. Uh, but yeah, and then there is the actual snake. How cool is that? Right, even just to like have it and preserve it. I know a lot of people preserve snakes and um, that's pretty damn cool. I'll try to get you guys as close as I can. Yeah, you can see with like the mouth open, you can kind of see his fangs. Uh, and the snake is called a habu snake. They're native to Japan. Um, so that's why they're in here. There's all kinds of like folklore about what the snake venom does to you. I don't know if it actually does anything. I've drink it, I think it's just like normal alcohol. But still really cool, now let's go adventure. All right y'all, so me and uh, JJ, you guys saw him. The, no, the Nintendo Switch. That's what it is, yeah. Um, so we're at this like festival in Yakuska, super busy, but I saw this game, there's like little guns and you can shoot stuff to win it, so I'm gonna try it and JJ's gonna record for me. Let's see if I can win a Nintendo Switch. All right, let's try it. I feel like I'm not gonna win anything. Ooh, 
boom, I want two prizes. I don't know what either of them are. Okay. Hey. All right, y'all. So I don't know what this is, uh, but that clip that you just saw, that guy cooking, I just bought whatever it was. It's like spongy. Um, gotta force it down a little bit. It tastes really good, After, like, but the mid taste is not very. It's just like spongy and weird. Um, I think I'm gonna pass. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this one away. But uh, we'll try something else in a minute. Yeah, that one was definitely not good. Uh, I was not a fan. It was like, it kind of tasted good at first, but then it was like a super weird spongy, but like that's the thing with all these boots, like you don't know what you're buying. You kind of just like, I just choose stuff pretty much randomly and uh, just buy that. But we're just gonna walk down all the way down this one and on the way back, we're gonna go to the other side. That's where I'll show you guys all the different booths and whatnot. For now, we're just kind of browsing around. All right, here we go. Walking it. What's up? You gonna get noodles? Oh, he's just taking a picture. All right, yeah, so I'll just walk down and kind of highlight a couple of the different booths and what they're selling and all that stuff. So, first up. All right, so yeah, this is the street that everything is on. So those are like squid, squid uh, cake thingies. That's ices. These are cool. I don't know what they are, but it's like a egg burrito type of deal. Super cool. Going back, this guy's got like the kebabs. Yep, male kebabs. Little fruit cups. Those actually look super good. Lots of booths with like little toys. JJ wants to go inside Burger King. This is Japanese Burger King. Uh, we'll eat here before we leave. That looks bomb. Yeah, there's a lot of booths that are kind of like this one where they just sell like little toys and stuff. She's got a weird whistle. Sounds like a bird. That's cool. That kind of looks like mochi, like potato-y something. No clue what that is, but it smells really good. Like most of the stuff, we have no idea what it is. We just kind of, you just buy it and try it. Uh, so the next booth, ooh, banana chocolate. I've been saying that I was gonna get one this whole time, so now I'm actually gonna pick one up. All right, boom, that is a banana duck thing. I'll flip you guys around, but sure, it's gonna be delicious. Little um, banana duck guy. Yep, tastes just like what you would expect it to taste like. <laughs> banana. Dipped in chocolate. It is chocolate. It's just blue with, I don't know, some sort of little like crunchy, uh, yummy thing. But uh, super good. All right, so that was pretty much all of the festival. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty much, it's like the same booths kind of just over and over and over again. Excuse me. So now we're going to walk to the other side of the haunch and uh, go to this ramen spot. It's my favorite spot out here. It's one Japanese dude, does it all by himself. So once we get there, I'll bring you guys back. All right, y'all, so this is the ramen place that I was talking about. Like I said, it is just this one gentleman does everything by himself. Uh, you order at like a little machine right over there. It gives you little tickets, you tell them what you want. You tell them how you want it made right there. And then he does everything. And of course, he does. That was the uh, ramen. I think we're both pretty stuffed. I feel like I'm gonna puke right I now. Can go round two. And like he couldn't go round two. <laughs> I could barely finish round one. Um, but still delicious. I think we're just gonna hit up 7-Eleven real quick. Probably go back to the room, relax, take a nap. Um, I'm super tired. I woke up at three o'clock in the morning and then five o'clock in the morning. Thought my mic was off. That would have sucked. Um, but yeah, so gonna head back. Take a quick nap and then we are going out again later tonight, so I will bring you back then. Alright, so I'm in my hotel trying to nap. It sounds like there's a fucking parade outside and oh, guess what? There's a literal parade outside. Gonna go try to sleep again. You just wanna know the struggle of time change. I told you that I was gonna bring you out tonight. Um... 
I didn't go out. I fell asleep at three in the afternoon. I was just gonna take a nap for like an hour. Uh, I woke up at two o'clock in the morning. I slept for 11 hours. So I just had some gyoza, which is like little fried dumpling thingies. Super, super good. Um, and then the guy at 7-Eleven told me to try to take this. It's a sleepy medicine. I have no idea like what is in it or anything, but he said to try to take it and it might help. So just took that. I got another chew high, a uh, dragon fruit chew high. So might just take a bath, sip on that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry I didn't take you guys out tonight, but I promise another night uh, we will definitely go out around the haunch and around Tokyo and whatnot. Lots of cool things planned while I am here. Sorry I'm not all energetic right now. I'm tired, I'm jet lagged. It's been a rough couple days, but I hope you guys at least enjoyed the little like intro and surprise video, Welcome to Japan. This video might have been short, the other ones will be long, obviously because I didn't include going out tonight. It made it a little bit shorter. Uh, excuse me, that was rude. But I still hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and like this video for me. Drop a comment down below if you've ever been to Japan, number one, and two, if you would like to go to Japan. Um, I think everyone should come here once. It's super fun. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit the notification bell for me. Ding, ding, ding. Hit it. That way you get notified Ooh. every time that I post. I had to check to see if the mic was on again. Love you guys. Peace.